Oh. <laughs> I just love the look of glistening green grass. You know the green I'm talking about. <laughs> Moist with sprinkler water, reflecting the radiance of the sun. In that regard, Louisiana's grass is in a class of its own. <laughs> just picture it on a clear summer day. A cold beer in one hand, gazing out from your porch onto the garden. You're so proud. This is the lie. Doesn't get much better than this. That's how you feel. A well-kept garden and a cold beer? The ultimate combination. They go hand in hand, just like hot dogs and sporting events. But that grass, it's got a bit of a nerve. It doesn't matter how many times you cut it down. It'll always keep coming back and turn your eyes away for a bit. <laughs> and that's when it'll really sprout up. Up until last week, your garden was perfectly pruned and balanced, symmetrical and pristine. But you wake up the next morning, and you can't even stand to look at what it's become. That's why people work so hard to cut their grass. Like it's some ordeal they've been tasked with by the big man in the sky. Oh. <laughs> and it never ends. Understand me, Zach. If you want to stop cutting your grass, now, you need to either submit to its growth or force it to wither. That's all humans can really do. Hard work really gets you anywhere in the big picture. Nothing. Wasted efforts. You, you following me here? Now just, just be, be honest with yourself. Be honest, Francis Zach Morgan. Oh, howdy, Zach. So we meet again. Such, Such a, a touching, touching reunion. reunion. Like, like a, a little, little boy who was given up for adoption, finally reuniting with his true parents. Uh, look, even little Willie here is beside himself with joy. Casey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, we tried to keep it together, but <laughs> I guess we couldn't. <laughs> What the fuck is going on there? <laughs> uh, that sounds nice. <laughs> hey, let her go! What uh, the hell's going on to you? <laughs> There's like some real exciting <laughs> shit going down, huh? Fuck. Whack. Jeez, are you okay? It's like Zach went batshit crazy, huh? <laughs> that should do it. And they tied him up. Oh yeah, why not? He just assaulted her, man. She's an FBI well, agent, you know. No turning back now. How should we clean this up? <sighs> I'm searching the room. With a sponge, duh. Suburb of Boston, Massachusetts. All right. Guessing we're gonna profile, right? This room is pure insanity. But I can't let it shake me. Why did you come here, Aaliyah? Remember the real reason you decided to investigate Morgan's house in the first place. We came here to find a miss. All right, I guess. Come on, Agent Jones. I know you're hiding something. Uh, what are you talking about? 
You've been watching him for four and a half years, haven't you? Can you really stand here and tell me that you never saw a single one of the strange signs I'm picking up on now? Uh, what signs? Deadly premonitions. Preparations for kidnapping or terrorist activities. Sexual depravity, violent tendencies, self-mutilation. Or even just contacting a specific person periodically. Nope. Nada. He doesn't fit any of that. I still don't understand You think I'd really like ignore something him. that obvious? I may be a schlub, but I'm still an FBI agent. Because I feel like he's hiding Then why some didn't you do anything about this um, room? Or did you merely kind of choose to ignore his abnormal Patty's proclivities? Uh, you know, you want to know what I did? More or less. I did my damn job! And I End guess of story! I was him, outside like the entire thing. time. How do you expect me to notice a room like this from out there? It's as yeah, simple as that. He's known as At least a good it was. Agent. They just come like Yeah, but this is where she questions where Don't blame me she's just going like, oh, well, he's too good. You know? ended up leading well, nowhere. Whatever that means, but... Doesn't have then any tell me the truth. I mean, she... After seeing this room, can you really I mean, say that man is really, in his right mind? has the right to proceed an investigation. He kept this room a total secret from you for over four and a half years. Especially because no he was involved. No normal human is capable of such a feat. But... Only a true genius. Or a true monster. Can you really guarantee that he won't try anything if we just let him go here? Well, uh... Then you need to help. Find some sort of evidence that we can use to make him reveal what he's plotting. If he's okay. plotting anything. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's like, what grounds are you doing all this? Yeah. Photo of Daniel. Photo of Patricia. Why do you think Jethro here survived? <laughs> Jethro. Why? I mean, doesn't he look like the kind of guy who'd die first in a horror movie? He married into the Clarkson family. He didn't possess Clarkson blood, so he had nothing to do with Helena Doman's plan. <clears throat> yep. The blood purge thing? But if that was all there was to it, then Helena Doman wouldn't have killed anyone but Clarkson's, right? Yet a ton of the Clarkson gang members died, along with Sheriff Woods. Gang members. Mm -hmm. up. Yeah, not bodyguards. She did whatever it took to gang achieve members. her goals. She'd kill if the plan required it. But killing <coughs> people Clarkson outside gang, of the Clarkson yeah. family was never a priority. Her ultimate goal was to cut off the Clarkson bloodline. Maybe he was always meant to be an assistant to the goddess of fertility. What, like a servant? He was the kind of person who was most in his element when he had someone to serve. Even afterwards, he let Patricia hmm. take over the estate while he became her assistant. As soon as he settled into his role, the townspeople started to respect him. Now they practically revere him, Honorable and he's Danny. even earned himself a nickname. One on Danny. Danny seems more suiting. So no, you think his, his life ways. played out exactly the way Professor Off planned <laughs> it to go? Is he not a completely Talk obnoxious douche? Yeah, I guess, but I was so positive. But she isn't here. There is something about this room though. Agent Jones, what do you think? Uh, me? I'm not as smart as you. Why are you even asking? Are you hiding something? <laughs> of course not. Knock it off. Me? Hiding something? One, <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Come on. I got nothing to hide. I thought I would find answers in this room. I thought that Patricia would be here. But I was wrong. This room is only filled with photos of people related to the case and the handiwork of a madman. Feels like I'm wandering through a heavy mist. Why is Morgan showcasing those women's photos? And that bed. If you loved someone from the bottom of your heart, would you ever be able to marry someone else? Or kill for them? Whoa, uh... What are we talking about? I never heard of any kind of motive like that in any other murder case. I just keep feeling like we're being fed a story that he made up in his mind. 
true. Honestly, without having experienced what that's like, I can't really say what I'd do. But I'd never try and force love to happen, if it didn't seem like it was meant to be. There are 3.5 billion women on this planet. There's got to be more than one specific person who anyone can fall deeply in love with, right? But what if we were talking about pizza, not women? You just discovered the perfect ultimate pizza, but you aren't allowed to take even a single bite unless you kill someone for the cook. Have you ever loved someone with all your heart? <laughs> what kind of person do you take me for? That's my line. The one who he's the one that... Isn't fate strange? In the end, two people who were completely unrelated by blood ended up inheriting that house. Yeah, you're right. But sometimes I wonder, what is family anyway? Go back far enough, we're all strangers to one another. We're talking countless generations, marriages and birth, you know. Humans love to deify the rules they create. It's almost like that's been an unwritten law from the very start. Why did I first? Ooh. Is that something dead? <laughs> Ew, is that a dead rat? Oh, or dude, dead it's squirrel? a squirrel. Probably stole his like med kit or coffee. Fucking slaughtered him. <laughs> <laughs> Put him by his uh, bedside. So weird. There's what like is a this? thing. There's like a sapling. Oh, you gotta it. be Drawn kidding. Out of it. <laughs> it's butt. <laughs> you saw it. <laughs> This room paints such a bizarre picture. But upon closer look, I can see some strange sort of pattern to it all. Was Morgan trying to recreate something with all this? If so, there must be a reason for all of these weird and hideous things. <laughs> What's that? A hunting trophy, a brown bear, PJ. with a dragonfly eye patch. Why is it smoking a cigar? It's probably supposed to represent Philip J. Clarkson's body. And the elk is? Helena Doman. So that's why it's got <laughs> such good taste in fashion. And this one Maybe is Galena Clarkson? It. Look at that butt. <laughs> It's a man. Why did he want to know. line up horses that were killed <laughs> mm -hmm. in different places? All together it's in a very single well room. put mannequin, huh? Red seeds? Yeah, uh, uh, you sure it's okay to press that? You never know, right? Yep. Won't know until we try. Red. Hey, hey, it's Woodstock. <clears throat> Not quite, but look, <clears throat> a peace sign. Love and peace, man. Even I can figure out what this is from. It's Jimi Hendrix, Janis Joplin, Grateful Dead, and Led Zeppelin. But I shouldn't have to explain okay. it to a music nut like you, right? That isn't a peace mark. It's upside down. You don't need to be a music nut to see that. What? Who says that's the top part? If you're looking from Lisa's head, this is the top part, making it a big, fat peace mark. No, 
This is the ground. Where's your proof? The red seeds. Seeds go in the ground, right? That makes this wall the mm. bottom. Lisa's head is clearly at the top. Period. <sighs> also, Agent Jones. Yeah. <laughs> Led Zeppo never played at Woodstock. That's like some unnecessary investigating. <laughs> They're having a conversation at the same time, you know? With a hunting trophy made from an animal. <clears throat> I feel like I'm looking at a piece of modern art done in really bad taste. Green hell. I kind of looked at that already, but okay. She planned a string of murders all in order to restore the Clarksons to their former glory, right? Yeah. According to Morgan's story. Matches up with the files, too. But the only proof of that is the confession she privately gave to Morgan just before she died. Galena Clarkson was also murdered immediately after she confessed. Don't you think it's all a little too convenient? Well, story-wise, yeah. And the sacrifices. None of the FBI's official records contain an example of an actual human sacrifice. Aside from the cases that Francis Zack Morgan handled, that is. There are tons of examples of animal sacrifice, though. And remember the witch hunts back in the Middle Ages? Meaning? Meaning there are always exceptions to the rule. And Morgan alluded to the existence of some sort of journal, right? I think he said he read it in Professor R's lab. If we could find that, maybe hmm. this would all become easier to swallow. The report didn't mention anything about a journal. And if it truly did exist, it surely would have been submitted as evidence. Unless he tried to cover it up on purpose. What did he do with that journal? Or, I don't remember. Unless the journal no, never did. existed it, in the first place. Exactly. Mm, the journal in, uh, I think. Sarah's laboratory? Yes. Yeah, yeah, the laboratory. I don't believe he took it with him. On a ground. Yeah. The first victim of the Greenville oh, no. case. Her body was found hanging from a tree, like a goddess being worshipped in a sanctuary. Sick. Cut right through the navel. Meanwhile, Lise Clarkson was found on the bank of a river in an area that had been fashioned into an altar. The person who gruesomely ended the life of that young woman must be brought to justice. I completely agree. They both still had their whole lives ahead of them. The Lucare case and the Greenvale case. According to my investigation, the one key that links both cases is Francis Zack Morgan. But if we look at the cases from his point of view, we see one more connection. The red seeds are also present in both cases. I believe that he was Seriously? the one who That's brought a very them to both crazy towns. <laughs> accusation. Yeah. Maybe. Conviction, even. Like, what makes no. her really believe that? Never mind. It's a nice assumption. When Helena Doman returned home, someone must have let her inside. You think that was her brother in law, Daniel? Family. I don't know. <sighs> well, alligators did chomp his arm off. He probably had it in for old man PJ, too. But. You know. I don't think he had anything to do with this. Why not? You're making it out to be more complicated than it really is. That's always <laughs> the problem with people like you. Too smart for your own good. Just get to the point. <sighs> Professor R marched straight through the front door to the mansion. She arrived right at her destination using the quickest route possible without having to undergo a single security check. I know. My question on, is, bro. how was she able to there do that? Go. Because she's family. It doesn't matter if PJ disowned her. He never stopped loving his son. A father would never abandon his child, no matter how much they fail to fulfill his expectations. That's what being a parent is all about. To a degree, everything's kind of individual. Don't look at me like that. I know, I know, I don't have a son myself, but I have a father. He's still back in my hometown, managing the printing plant my grandfather started. He'll be turning 80 soon. He wanted me to take over the place, but as you can see, I'm out here. 
But I know how this whole thing works. Even though I haven't seen him in forever, the minute I go home, he'll welcome me with warm, open arms. He was taught how to rule as a child, never confided in anyone, and married for purely political reasons. Then he prospered so much that he became powerful enough to rule an entire town on his own. But in the end, his own child betrayed him and ended his entire clan in a series yeah. of violent deaths. If that was your life, how would you look back on it? Yeah, beats me. I wasn't born into a rich family, nor was I ever taught how to rule. And for what it's worth, I've also never knocked up a young ex-actress. But I guess the one thing we can say is that any good life needs balance. Get too hung up on one thing, and you lose sight of everything else. And if you betray someone, you'll get betrayed too. Someone thinks they can step all over people and then live out the rest of their life in peace. Yeah. They're fooling themselves. We always get to see how those people end up in our line of work. In the end, they die horrible deaths. That is why pizza Divine is the only thing I trust. And pizza, pizza never, betrays you. never betrays you. This case took place in Lucare and centered around the Clarksons. Oppressive authority, cross purposes, madness and love. But Katrina took the truth along with many innocent lives and buried it all at the bottom of the swamp. But there's one truth that can never be washed away. This all started with the yeah, death of the Yeah, didn't Katrina wipe girl. everyone out? Everyone, Galena Clarkson went to California to become an actress. <laughs> but things never took off for her, so she eventually returned it was home. A pretty horrible time back then. Then she murdered her own daughter and ended up like this. Where did she go wrong? She did manage to appear in a few movies, right? Not as any characters with actual names. Nice. And never with much clothes on. Those are their old actresses. So that's for. the only value they saw in her, huh? Sorry, that was insensitive. It's an everyday occurrence in that world. She was also bullied a lot. Bullied? How? They'd cut up her costumes, her scripts, and even her own clothes everywhere she went then after three years of that her stylist chopped off a chunk of her hair by That's accident are you kidding mm -hmm. me i did a little that investigating suck. on Can this you imagine that shit? in the end a self-titled big cheese producer tricked her she almost ended up going into porn <sighs> not hard to imagine what would have happened after that one witness said that after returning to lucare she refused to use scissors to cut anything Everyone thinks that the principal thing to the tree is the fruit. But in point of fact, the principal thing to it is the seed. Now I know why Lise Clarkson was murdered first. Lise's death was Professor R having second thoughts. According to Morgan, her plan was to perform parricide and filicide, then commit suicide. Those were the three deaths necessary to complete the ritual, remember? Which means she technically could have killed Patricia first. That would have been the best way to delay any interference from the Clarksons themselves. The reason she didn't kill Patricia first is because Lena was actually following a different plan inside her own mind. Or perhaps she merely changed her plan as she followed through with it. At some point, new emotion started to take root within her. She had second thoughts about something. And in order to shake those off, she used Galena to kill Lise first in order to cut off any possible escape, but that only made her plan move ahead quicker than she could have ever imagined, which forced her to rush right up to the end with those misgivings always in the back of her mind. Huh? Uh, wait, hold on. Yeah, you lost me. What are you talking about? In other words, at some point, Helena Doman decided that she wanted to make Patricia the hmm. next heir. The her blood daughter. purge wasn't for the goddess of fertility. It was for their daughter, Patricia. Wait, are you saying Helena knew from the start that Sheriff Woods would die with candy? That's the only explanation I can think of. Huh. Remember, 
This is only assuming that everything Morgan told us was true. Until I can trust that man, this is all nothing more than conjecture. Uh, considering how insane this all is, it sounds perfectly believable to me. Is he gonna wakey wakey now? Nope. And so is this whole chapter just gonna be in this time? <clears throat> it might be, we'll see. Right here, right here. <laughs> Francis Zack Morgan. Remember me? Oh, cat got your tongue. Understood. You know why I'm here, don't you? Surely you must know what this means. To commemorate our reunion, allow me to so give you snake. another yeah. oracle. This new look real. It's like not even eternity. moving. But only in the presence. His hand of just like went through it. Love. Did you hear that? Good. It's been a while since I felt this. You know. There's hardly anyone in this era who can see me like you can. And they've been dropping like flies since you first came to see me. Breaks my heart. What did he just check? It looked like a garland or like an orange or something. Mm. It looked like a wash. You don't have much time. It looked like a garland you that you put like on a Christmas tree. It looked like a pocket wash. Yeah, it's too big for a pocket wash. Excellent. And we had one option. You pass. Doesn't Hungan kind of look like Melvin? A little bit, yeah. But that question. Maybe that's like the design they answer. use, but then just put makeup all over it. <laughs> I, I feel like that's probably the only option here. Yeah. Literally, like the facial structure, like the bone and stuff. Like, yeah, it's very similar. We'll have to finish this during our next reunion. <laughs> nice. This is bad. Agent Jones. Avery what is this Smith. referring to? Yep. Giant Avery man Smith baby kidnapped Patricia Clarkson just went and escaped. Stole the kid. See, I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. I knew he'd be right responsible now. for this bullshit, bro. Well, like, you can never Anthony trust a dude Jones. like that. I made a deal with Morgan back when he took me to the bathroom. What? What? Do you see that? What? Fair Morgan fine? said something yeah, yeah. to me. If That's we want to find Patricia, we need to look at Avery Smith. Have you lost your mind? <sighs> what he said made sense. Ever since 2005, Avery's been working deep inside that cold storage warehouse. He was also arrested in the past for getting too friendly with Lise Clarkson. Ooh, sexual harassment. See, yo, and these are all signs, bro. Katrina, <laughs> these he are all signs. worked on renovating the warehouse He seemed like free. such a nice guy, What though? if... Well, that's how they that catch you with bullshit. Freely <laughs> modify the warehouse as he pleased. See, and it's funny, like how that York would hadn't, like, why noticed that. body remained missing for 14 whole years. It's like they didn't then, put it past him. I did know? a little check and found out that he never went back to work after Christmas vacation ended. Mm. So what? Why would you trust him? Uh, I don't. I just decided it was worth investigating, that's all. So, I sent two agents to Avery's house without telling anyone. I just called in a favor from an old friend in the New Orleans branch. No one gave you clearance for that. You think you can just... 
But what if Morgan's telling the truth? If he is, we're both gonna look like total clowns. Clowns who went barging yeah, into a former exactly. agent's house on completely unfounded suspicions. HQ will have a field day with us. They'll string us up as the two dumbest agents to have ever graced the field. Now he's like, I just wanted to take some shit. precautions. <laughs> yeah. And besides, if he is lying, it's still no skin off our backs, right? If things work out, we'll end up solving a difficult case that's been driving everyone crazy. Imagine that. You and me, just the two of us, solving a case like this. I'll be able to jump ship on this crappy job, and you'll be <laughs> able to freely investigate all things San Rouge, just like you've always wanted. Besides, you know that Morgan is Director Abraham's favorite. Even if we get into some sort of trouble, if Morgan testifies to Abraham's for us, we'll totally be in the clear. I don't care. Hmm. This isn't the way things are supposed to be done. Well, I'm sorry, but I had no other choice. You were so engrossed in this, and come on, you know how I am. Besides, saving the hostage should take priority above all else. There's no time for squabbling. We need to find Avery Smith, no matter what it yeah. takes. Before he does <laughs> but some how? Crazy shit. Uh, well. Thanks to your heroic maneuvers, we just lost our suspect. I know, but. I know how to find him. Oh, he's awake. I should be able to see the other world the way I am now. Just let me go, please. Morgan? It's okay, my fairy. I know I can convince them. Frantic sign. Yeah, talk to him. I don't have much time left. I'm pretty sure that's why I can see the other world now. I've lost that sense ever since the Greenvale incident, but it's since back now. Greenvale, yeah. Please, will you just trust me? Come on, Simon. You'll trust me, won't you? Uh, what? No, Agent Jones. Remember the warning I gave you at the very beginning? You can't let him take control of the conversation. Yeah, I don't know why they're so like yeah, that. Like, I, yeah, I know. Done anything wrong? I know. <laughs> Please, Halia Davis, let me go. This is our case to finish. No, you aren't an agent anymore. But you don't know how to find him. Neither of you ever could. Oh, I'll find him. I swear on my pride as an active agent that I won't give up until I do. <laughs> that won't get you anywhere. It's beyond you. Shut up. You think we can't find him, Read but you down. can. Just how stupid do you think we are? If you want us to believe you, then it's about time you showed us some proof. Hey, Belle. Wait, did he retire? Your hypothesis by the way? was pretty or much on the mark. Off the case? Pretty Last sure week, retired. I went back to Lucare. Then I bought a used car and got on a train in Trenton. But not for the reason you think. I wasn't stalking Patricia. And I'd never try to kidnap her. Then why would you go there? Why would you risk so much, especially since you knew that you were under surveillance? Because, once again, I'm chasing Saint Rouge. Saint Rouge? Even after I quit the FBI, I continued to study the red trees on my own. And now, I've come to the conclusion that those red seeds and San Rouge both come from the same roots. I also found proof that someone's inherited the original recipe. That's why I flew to Lucare, to confirm my suspicions. But I was more powerless than I ever could have imagined. I couldn't move like I used to. No badge, no gun. So, after wandering aimlessly around town, I swallowed down my torment and my weakness and left. You expect me to believe that? I know you've got it in you. What's that supposed to mean? You found Lise Clarkson's body. The one thing I never did. And only a few days after discovering the body, 
you came to visit me. You should be fully capable of discerning that what I'm telling you is the truth. Talking much about oneself can also be a means to conceal oneself. You can't trick me. Hmm. One is Elkhead. If your story is true, then why did Avery Smith kidnap Patricia? Patricia resembles Lise. I even got them confused once, and Lise reported being stalked by a ten-foot man. That's Avery Smith? Exactly. But he's only 6'7 at best. His physical yeah, characteristics don't match the person ten. you're talking about. You mean ten I foot? Was I mean, the very <laughs> six same ten. Yeah, or but ten foot person. That was definitely Avery. That's what Avery he was like the closest, Lisa's but we never found out like, what the deal yeah. was with Until that. Until you discovered his York is specifically looking for a ten foot So after <laughs> his body, <laughs> so he kidnapped exactly. Patricia as a replacement? Yeah. That's ridiculous. Yeah, if he picks his hands Is that really off, what you think happened? No, he, he said, Avery he did said he still sort of wasn't told. It doesn't make sense. Mm. If Lise was Earlier, really yeah. that important to him, he would have tried to steal her back. Not now, maybe. But certainly after she was buried. Would you be able to go on worshipping a goddess who had been defiled by so many hands? That ice was a barrier, a shield that separated the divine from our world. Is our rapper. You said that someone inherited the Saint Rouge recipe, didn't you? Ooh, probably. Is that someone you think he's Avery's like, actually a genius? It has to be. No, definitely not a genius. Avery used he's to help Professor R. It's kind of like uh, the Breaking Bad situation what? with Jesse Pinkman. Well, that wasn't in the report. I only realized no it just now. Well, like Lana Dolan being Walter coffee White coffee and Avery Smith being Jesse Pinkman. Avery revealed kind of like, oh, hey, I know how to make it now. Research. You know? I would have uh, never found out on my own. But at kind of like that, you know? I let his confession go in one ear and out the other. So now that I look back on it, well, it's a good, good I realize idea. I don't know. it was solid it's proof idea. that he was helping her produce Saint Rouge. What makes you think that? He had free access to the deepest parts of the cold storage warehouse. He did, oh. but he must Wait. be like... I don't know, he must be smarter mean, than like Saint Rouge needs to be produced be in an extremely because... cold environment. Exactly. Aaliyah Listen, Davis. No one said he's a complete you already consider but No, but that's what he acts like. But now, that's like, I guess his suspicion is... He doesn't necessarily he act like an idiot. Yeah, I... Though, in I order to no, I understand that. He acts like a child for a reason. Then, but... Well, yeah, that's probably his mental health. Now, our suspicion is, like, he's... That, that that could be like the act. See, Melvin, Melvin wasn't the fool king. Wasn't the fool king. What? Many different characters pop up in Lena's journal, and I mistook one of them for someone else. What are you talking about? After Simon hit me and I fainted, I had a dream. Now I'm convinced I'm the fool king. The Fool King was always meant to be an outsider who suddenly arrived in Lucare. And the man she felt a need to eliminate wasn't me, but Avery. Lena realized her plan was on the verge of falling that apart. Giant turd. Mm. She also guessed that I would be able to save Patricia from Melvin. The one worry that remained in her heart was leaving Patricia behind. Well, now her life would play out, out from that point on, and just suspect that all that would happen. With well, to a degree, a obviously not planning out all the small different variables control. that come together. No, she I'm not talking about small variables, but like, I, yeah, like he said, fool king, him saving Patricia from stopping Melvin. Avery, yeah. and then them dying. And like, she wrote it in a specific way in order to try and rouse me to action. Lena and Melvin both entrusted me with their daughter. So please, just let me go. It's my duty to protect her. Who do you think benefited most from the Greenvale case? <sighs> no one benefited from it. Many lives were lost. That's all. You really believe that? Everyone who survived was overcome with sadness, scarred for life. 
Without exception? Without exception. Isn't that right, my fairy? I feel like you're the one person who benefited from the case. You were able to add a new chapter to your stunning career and earned unshakable trust from the Chief. That's what allows you to go on using his intel network as you please, even though you're retired. Are you seriously suggesting that? Sickness is destroying my body. Let me go. I feel like I'm on the verge of losing my mind. Yet, somehow, I'm unable to forget the cases connected to those seeds. Whittling down what's left of my life. Chasing them. You really think I'm doing all this for nothing but self-interest? Is that really what Yo, you're saying? Dumb. <laughs> She's I understand what you're trying yeah. to say But it's too perfect It's too perfect Just like that report of yours How could you come to such a detailed conclusion After spending years yeah, shut up in this room It doesn't make sense, sense. The only possible explanation is that you're bending the narrative In the direction you want it to go Why do you think I left the field For two years after Greenvale your That case cost missing. me not only my best friend But also my special talent i never thought i'd lose something like that but yeah, ever since then profiling. i've been unable to solve yeah. cases using that method <gasps> metaphysical offender profiling i tried everything i could think of to regain my lost talent but it so never came quit. back to me that's why i quit working for the fbi and without anywhere else to go i simply spent my days seeking searching for an answer i'd never find so, time continued to cruelly pass me by. Until finally, a disease started eating away at my body. I thought it was all over for me. <coughs> but about half a year ago, I finally reached my conclusion. Everything started with the red seeds. He and I encountered these seeds long before we reached Greenvale. Under the seething, mind-melting sun of Louisiana. Then, for some reason, in the beginning of December, I finally regained my talent. And instantly, I could see the other world again. Get it? Through allowing the cancer cells to ravage my body, I regained the power to travel to the other side. This is the only answer, Aaliyah Davis. Truth is a surprise, born mm. from coincidence and an unknown power. Two bizarre cases derailed your life. It must have been extremely painful. You have my deepest condolences, but that doesn't put you in the clear. You're still a suspect. A suspect? For what? Yeah, Patricia she, like, isn't pulling here. All this the murders of Sheriff there. Melvin Woods and Candy Woods. Yeah. It's like Their bodies were never work. recovered. Oh, let me just pull Katrina this out carried of them hat. away. Say some random along shit. Along with many other lives. Aside from that yeah, report, the you wrote, there's that, nothing uh, that pizza proves box your you innocence. Threw out your window. Hey, hey. Like, <laughs> let's not jump to conclusions here. Oh, I'm not. I mean, this I is also murder. I mean, there's a possibility she has the that right he murdered individuals connected time, to yeah. other She's cases that he's worked wrong, on. The Greenvale report bears the same inconsistencies See, like, as this one, and both cases are filled with victims but... whose deaths were never witnessed. Stop. Don't say another I'll word. Punch you if in your you face. so much as mention her <laughs> name. If I mention it, then what? You will pay. <sighs> Bell. No. Special Agent Aaliyah Davis. You're exceptionally talented, I admit it. You found Lisa's body, then discovered the red seeds all on your own. You even noticed that there was someone else in this room. You've got amazing intuition. You're a hunter with an extremely keen sense of smell. But you still can't still perceive the other, world, the other world the way you are now. 
It's like That's part of all his there like, is to it. profiling type thing. It's very weird. What about the crab people? That's just come on. Man. Simon, look inside that trash can. Fantasy huh? concept. The trash can? It's right behind you. Then you'll know for sure that I'm telling the truth. <laughs> mm -hmm. Pizza? <laughs> yeah. Looks like it's a receipt. Pizza receipt, yeah. <laughs> We told you not to touch the sanctuary. <sighs> what is this? He's the one that sent it to Julia. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. What's on that receipt? What is it, Wait. Agent Jones? F K. Holy crap. Huh. Contact He's a the local one that told him he called and, and now Avery Smith is on the run. Avery Smith's home. There are still agents investigating the Lucare area, right? Trust me. That's where Patricia Clarkson is. Trust you? Where's your proof? Ask Aaliyah Davis. Ask her about the name of the person who tipped her off. What do you mean? You're from Chicago. And you love pizza, right? <laughs> Especially deep dish pizza. Smothered in cheese. I'd love me some pizza right now. What does this yeah, have to do good. with pizza? Just ask her. And ask her why she decided to Saying take this case in the first place. Got it? Pizza right. will pizza never will betray you. Betray. So you need to trust it, too. How could you have known that I would come here with her? I didn't. I just bet on you. Blim God damn yeah, it. it makes sense. Oh. Hey! Tell me what's going on what? right now, Agent Jones. <clears throat> He's just helping him like that? Are they gonna get in yeah. trouble for this? Car keys <laughs> on <laughs> Tie, like, yeah. what the See? hell? Let me go. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> just trust in the pizza. <laughs> I'm the anonymous tipper. F. K. It, it's on the corner of 3rd Street. 69 Pontiac GTO. What? This is so weird. You've got taste. <laughs> Severe obstruction of justice. You're violating the FBI code. Yeah, Aaliyah, I know, but pizza will never betray oh, that's it. Yep, that's what you tell her after you hang Tell Abrahams to prepare a Pizza private jet for me at the airport. I still can't. I know Robert won't turn his back on me. Wait, Morgan, are you serious? The chief would never lend out a private jet to a civilian like... Get me a jet. <laughs> like, uh... Watch, he's gonna get it, I bet you. I have to leave you for a bit, my fairy. They'll be fine. They'll figure it all out. York, can you hear me? I'm going to go finish the job you started. That makes us even, okay? Mm. Nice. York, she really is a genius agent. She's probably going to end up being an even better agent than we were. She just needs more experience under her belt. She's still only pursuing the world she can see with her well, naked they eye. Make another game she needs to experience now. more frustration. Oh, yeah. yeah, like where now she, she can go into the other world. Herself. And like do like Maybe. the metaphysical part. On the other hand, Simon's much like smarter than he looks. Too. No wonder Maybe. he was able to go watching us like, for four and a half years. Saves your brother All brother. that struggling yeah, yeah, under the exactly. surface paid off in the end. <laughs> do you want to know why he decided to start trusting me? It's simple. It's all because of the name I used to send the tip to the FBI. It's the name of that pizza parlor. 
the Chicago style place with those oh, that's trademark why. Okay. crimson yeah. boxes. Franklin's Kitchen. Franklin's Kitchen. Wow, really? Yet again. They've got the best deep dish pizza yeah, in the area. In Both one. Simon and I love that place. That's why I told him pizza will never betray you. Will it, York? <laughs> <laughs> nope. Wait, so what now? Well, we'll find out after this loading screen. Yep. Wait, are we Five back? Hours later. Wait, we're really going? Yeah, here? dude, he literally got a uh, a jet, bro. He straight to up come just come to Lacare and yeah, from Boston to Lacare. Yeah. That wait, so we're o yeah. Okay. What? This is having a hard time. What Avery's the last boss? Probably. York. Yeah. It's almost time. Let's finish this. I'll be there soon. Watch my back, will you? This is going to be my final battle. So I'm this far gone, huh? Damn. But unlike 14 years ago, I feel more at home in this world now 